Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. I hope you're doing well. I am good. Today's is going to be rough. If you can tell by looking at me, I've, I've failed to get through this one a number of times. Uh, and it's a, it's a good story with a somber ending. And uh, I'll get into that in just a second. First reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up and leave those comments. It's much appreciated, very much. Um, you know how once in a while you meet people and you know they're going to be part of your life. Um, you just kind of click. It was August last year. Uh, Becky and I decided to go down to our favorite restaurant in town, Taco Lucha, and uh, go enjoy the weather, which was surprisingly nice in August that night, and uh, have some tacos. It's our favorite restaurant by far. We just love the vibe, the service, the people, I'm good friends with the owners, and now have an outdoor waiting area. And that's where we spent what was supposed to be a three-hour wait. Yeah, Taco Lucha isn't a real big place. They flip tables really fast. They're incredible. Uh, but that's how big the crowd was waiting to get in. There was probably twice as many, if not more, people outside than actually inside. So they needed to flip the restaurant by the time we got there twice to even have a chance to get in. We're going to be there for a while. And so we ordered a beer, and Becky had a margarita, I believe. And we were out there just waiting, and we struck up a conversation with the father and son. You see, it was the week that the parents bring their kids to school, particularly the freshmen, and drop them off and, you know, help them final goodbye. That's the night we met Gunner and Greg McLean. Now, Greg uh, is a K-State grad. He was a little bit behind me in school, and then he went into service of his country in the U.S. Army. He's now a full bird colonel, and he oversees the U.S. Army's tank corps, and he's based in um, Georgia. He's been all over the world with his family, including Gunnar spent some time growing up over in Europe. Pretty cool, if you ask me. And Gunnar, immediately, he's, you just knew he's a great kid. Very intelligent, um, uh, humble. Uh, he has that, that thing about him. And he's going to be successful, and you know it. He actually chose to come to K-State over uh, being admitted to West Point. He wanted some normalcy to his college experience. He might well end up in the military, but for now, this is what he wanted to do, and he made the most of it. You might know who Gunner is, and you don't even know it. If you went to K-State basketball games, or maybe even saw him on TV, Gunner was always in the front row, wearing a purple blazer. It became a power cap blazer that, that Greg, his father, brought him later in the season, and sunglasses, always being relentlessly supportive of Jerome Tang's Wildcats. K-State basketball means the world to Gunner. In fact, Greg and Gunner got to go to the locker room before a game late in the year, meet Coach Tang, hang out with the team before the game, and then Gunner went to his student section and took up his seat, and Greg sat behind the bench. It was cool. It was good to see them, and I checked in with Gunner a number of times. Uh, and knowing that his dad was in Atlanta that night at Taco Lucha, I gave Gunner my phone number to say, hey, if you ever need anything, hit me up. Never really needed anything. He's a pretty self-reliant kid. Now, the story takes a twist. Gunner loved his freshman season, at uh, freshman season, freshman year at K-State. He, uh, he went home to Georgia this summer to earn money uh, for his sophomore year. Yeah, look, every kid now is faced with financial issues. College is expensive. Living in a college town is expensive. So Gunner wanted to build up money, living at home, save some money, and get a job. And he was in the process of starting that. But um, unfortunately, Gunner uh, had a serious accident last week. He, he was caught in a flash fire working on a car and uh, was severely burned. His face, about a third of his body, will need skin crafts. He is in tremendous pain but recovering. The recovery will be long. Uh, he has nerve damage. And he's hanging in there. He's conscious, but still on the vent that hopefully will come off today or sometime this week. Um, and now Gunner still plans to come to K-State. This is going to be a long process of recovery, including uh, plenty of physical therapy uh, to learn some things back. The damage is extensive. But Gunner is determined to come back to K-State. And they're asking for something all of us can do, send them prayers and good thoughts. Coach Tang says it's time for relentless healing. And the McLeans are pretty relentless themselves. And that's a, that's a good way to put it, Coach, relentless healing. They uh, 
have asked for donations to Gunner's Venmo account. I'll put that up here on the screen right now so you can get it. And um, whatever you can do will help. I'm unable to work now. He needs to build up those that money to, to get back to K-State in the future. Prayers to the McLean family. They're wonderful people. I look forward to meeting the rest of the family when Gunner returns. He returns to the front row of Bramlage Coliseum to be relentless in cheering on the Wildcats. Gunner, my man, I love you. Get healthy, get back, and we will see you soon.